this week's episode of Around the Corner, we're learning about the history of Rogers. Yeah, everything that went into making it what it is today is right here at the Rogers Historical Museum. Guys, we love museums. Especially, Especially you. <laughs> Can we go now? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. You ever wonder where Rogers gets its name from? It's because of this right here. The San Francisco Rail Company is coming through Northwest Arkansas, but where are they gonna put the tracks down? The general manager at the time is trying to figure that out, C.W. Rogers. The people living here, they rush out. They're like, pick us, pick us. We'll name our town after you. So May 10th, 1881, the first railroad track runs through Rogers. That's a picture of the train coming into town right there. Now at that time, apple production was booming here. That dominates the cargo on the trains until bugs, disease, weather cripples the production of the apples, doesn't slow the people down. They pivot towards poultry, and we know where that got us today. Have you ever wondered if any prominent people came out of Rogers or even Benton County? Well, the answer is yes, and this exhibit will tell you all about them, like Edsel Ford, who was a published author. Some of his work is here. And then one of the most interesting is Louise Thaden. Now, you know the name Thaden because of Thaden School, even Thaden Airport. Well, Louise Thaden, she was an aviatrix, even friends with Amelia Earhart. You know Amelia's story because she disappeared. It made headlines, but Louise here, she actually competed against Earhart and she would win a lot. There's some pictures here of her back in the day, 1920s at the Women's Air Derby. Now this exhibit is gonna tell you all about her and her story. Many others who come from Benton County and Rogers, you definitely wanna check it out. Chances are you've heard about Beaver Lake, but have you heard about Montanay? Well, it's a resort town that's completely underwater at the lake. So let's set the scene. It's the early 1900s. William Harvey moves from Chicago to Northwest Arkansas, buys 300 acres of land, and decides he wants to make a resort town. This right here, Montanay. They had their own post office, their own school, their own bank, and they even had the first indoor swimming pool. Sounds like a pretty cool place, right? First indoor swimming pool in the state. Well, this was a happening spot for about two decades, but unfortunately, Harvey got into some financial troubles. From there, he sold the place off, but unfortunately, it was kind of let go after that. So let's fast forward, it's the 1960s, Beaver Lake is being built, and they completely flood the remaining parts of Montanay. Now there are still some parts that you can see at the Beaver Lake that we know today. This is some of it right here that's covered up now by water, but when the lake gets low, you can sometimes see some of the steps. In addition to the permanent exhibit highlighting the history of Rogers, they also have temporary ones here, like this one highlighting the toys all the way back to the 1800s to the 2000s. Yeah, some of you still upset about the lines y'all were in for the Cabbage Patch doll and the Tickle Me Elmo. Yes, yeah, so if you want to be reminded about those potential fights you got into, you can come and check out this exhibit, but not for long. It closes after Saturday, so come out this weekend. But the good news is they have more exhibits on the way. The next one coming is about the age of alcohol and the prohibition. I'll have to see that one. All right, we'll see you next time on Around, Around the, the Corner. Corner.